looking for some award-winning recipes. We may just have those for you about going Greek right here. Yeah, all we have to do is look across the street. A group from the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral downtown Toledo just scored some national recognition for their cookbook, Olives, Feta, Philo, and more. These literally are the golden cookbooks. Yeah, we are joined absolutely. by Kathy Lawrence to give us a little taste of what's going on. Hi, Kathy. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I'll tell you, you guys deserve it. This food is out of this world. And oh. no shortage on recipes in here, Kathy. I thought this was like a Bible when you brought it in here first, but it's basically that's what it is. Your Bible cookbook right here, loaded with recipes. Uh, tell us where some of these recipes came from. Well, these recipes came from our great-grandparents, our our fathers, our mothers, our aunts, our uncles. It was from the community, and the community um, came together and compiled this wonderful 515-page book. That's quite the community. My it gosh, is. how many how many recipes do you have in there? I bet um, you have quite a few. I have about two in here. About two. How about you? No, that, but which ones are are yours? Well, I made these. Um, I submitted the the curumbiada recipe oh, and another bean recipe. Again? Curambiada. Okay, and then this is, of course, the baklava. It is. And then what are these? Those right are here? called finica or melamacarina, also known as. How do you honey remember cookies? these names? <laughs> My gosh, you have to grow up in this. It's yes. Beautiful. Kathy, that's two more recipes than I would ever have in a book exactly. like this. Exactly. Let's, too, let's so. start there. All right, and then the, the bread. The bread. These are called surekia, and they're traditional sweet breads that we have every Easter. You can see one has an egg and one is without eggs, mm -hmm. and um, it symbolizes the resurrection of Christ. Oh, that is awesome. And, well, and, I'm going to steal your cookbook. Sure. And Kathy, you're going to kind of take it yeah. away. You're going to give us a little bit of preview. What are you going to be making for us today? Well, today I'm just going to do a few samples. I'm going to dip some deepless. You can see the deepless here. These are honey curls, oh. and I'm just going to go ahead and submerge it. Is now, that, what do you submerge it in? I'm sorry. Yeah, is that a bake? Oh, what actually is that there? Some sort of baked dough or fried dough? Okay, the women roll this out as thin as they possibly can and cut it in strips and then fry it. And then as they fry it, they make it into these beautiful rosettes. And basically, this syrup is um, made with honey and sugar. And um, there's some cloves. Honey and sugar? Honey and sugar. <laughs> that is outstanding. And water. Oh, my gosh. Right up our alley. I'm right up you. our alley. Yep. Look at that. So then you put it in there. And these are, you know, everything that you make is just such a hit at your festival every year. Well, our cookbook has, of course, all the festival recipes in there that we want to share with everyone. Hmm. Um, the secrets of the kitchen. The here. secrets of the kitchen are there. Um, and, of course, you can purchase this cookbook mm -hmm. by calling Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral, and the phone number is 419-241-9189. She is the best commercial for this, isn't she? What we'll, do, <laughs> we'll put that number on our website. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So. We'll get that up for you. So you've got that. You dip it in honey. I dipped it in honey, and I'm going to sprinkle some sugar on it, mm -hmm. or sugar, nuts, and um, other seasonings here. Now, what, so kind, of, what kind of nuts are those ground nuts? Uh, always walnuts. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Always walnuts. Yeah, you, you forget who you're talking to. I mean, I'm the one who comes and gets enough food for a year and puts it in the refrigerator. Kathy, it's I can amazing. tell this is uh, for somebody with a little bit of a sweet tooth here. Uh, sugar and honey, all the good ingredients right there that go along with that. And all made from scratch, too? All made from That's scratch. This comes with from loving hands. From the community, we it get really together does. every year. You know, you mentioned always walnuts. Why is that? Is that the only um, you know nut that you guys use in the in the Greek cooking? Or? Oh well, there are other nuts in that region, but primarily walnuts have always mm -hmm. been used. The other Mediterranean countries, you know, use pistachios and almonds, but we do use a lot of almonds too. Very region. Now, what about the doughs and everything? You talked about the dough that you fry. I mean, is there a standard dough that you use for a lot of the different baked goods? Well, no, they're all each a little bit different. Oh um, my gosh. The the this deepla here, of course, has to be rolled out really, really thin, almost like a phyllo dough. I was going to say, it's got to be, it's, that's an art form to make phyllo dough from scratch. scratch. It Absolutely. is an art form. And there are very, well, there's one woman in particular in our church that does a great job making it for us, Mary Markham. So oh we are very gosh. appreciative in that your, she does In your this. opinion, what is, what is the secret here? Because a lot of us, <laughs> well, you know, let just, us in on we the were secret. just wondering, you know. <laughs> I guess you have to buy the cookbook. Always buy the cookbook. And Kathy, i got to put you on the spot. And then what's her name again? We'll be bringing her over. <laughs> 515 pages in here. What's your favorite recipe? Oh, of course. Let's see. My favorite recipe, I'm going to have to say... 
I love the Kuda like you. Okay. Oh, that was very gracious of you. <laughs> I, what's the name of yours again? Mine are called Kudambiadas. I do like them a lot. Oops. But these are good dunking cookies, and you can dunk them in your coffee, and oh, it's lots of fun. Outstanding. <laughs> All right. Lauren, how's your sweet tooth feeling now? Yeah, oh, this is pretty good. Every time she added sugar, then honey, then more sugar, and then, yeah. <laughs> This I'll eat. I won't pronounce. I'll down. eat. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's glad upside to have you down. Thank you so much, Kathy. <laughs> I, I need a little sugar. My blood sugar is low. I mean. yeah. 